Hey guys, this is Mungo Comics, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Today we'll be playing as, um, uh, Crimson Viper, um, Thor, and Dormaru. Yep, those will be the ones I'm picking. Um, Okay, let's get this going. Yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of funny how, like, basically for every single one of the worst moves he hits, he says mighty. Wow, that, wow, that was kind of lame, Dormaru. I should pick, like, your dark hole or your other one. Oh, good. That was cool. She did like a little jet boot air into the sky thing. That was cool. I wish I knew I'd do like the flaming kicks and thunder knuckles though. That would probably be um, helpful. Yeah, I did a thunder knuckles then. I have one of them will hit her. Crimson Viper missed completely, but at least two of them hit him. Yes, yes, you have big boobs. Keep, let's keep it moving. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll stick to the mission, alright. You know, I, I didn't see the Thor movie either. I mean, I heard it was... Yeah. Money-wise, you know, it did okay, but, like, I don't know how it did, I, I mean, my friend Raquel saw it, and she said, she said she liked it, and that it was good, but I'm, st I'm I just don't know, I'm not sure what to think of it, Thor. I mean, he'd be, like, one of the more difficult guys, more of the more difficult Marvel people to make a movie of, just because, it, because of how, like, um, you know, it's not, like, a normal thing. I think, though, like, for the most of the movie, he's not even, like, in his god form, so... I hope he'll, I guess, like, when the Avengers movie comes out, he'll be all, like, super-duper epic and stuff with his god powers, I guess. But then again, it's not like he's a super god, he's just the god of thunder, I guess. What the hell was that? He did, like, an ink shadow blob move. Weird. Come on, you have to go with that? It looks like I was doing something cool, but I don't know what I was doing, really. I seem to be doing alright with Crimson Viper. I remember, um, like, a friend of mine, he was from California. Oh, look, Joe and Jeffrey are on. Whatever. So, um, I, a friend of mine, well, he's kind of a friend of mine. Like, I had a neighbor who, you know, he, it would be like my neighbor's... My neighbor's grandsons, they were from California, they would come over, but, like, my the na my neighbor died, she was, like, really old, and, well, she she was kind of, like, um, you know, she was kind of, you know, losing it a bit in her old age, so, but, you know, they, they, they're over this weekend, so, but, like, you know, you know, he's, he, what is he, he's ten, but, I don't know, he has... You know, some slight mental problems. But, you know, he, uh, he brought over his game Tekken 5. And, like, you know, he was surprisingly good at it because he said he, like, played the other Tekken games. But I've never played, played any of them, really. Well, I mean, I did, like, once maybe at, like, an arcade place, but not, like, a console version. So... It was like, you know, I was just playing around, like, you know, playing around, like, I played as, like, the, the kangaroo guy, and, like, the bear, you know, so I played as, like, those two guys, but then, like, you know, every time, though, he would still beat me with whatever character he picked, like, there's, like, a bajillion characters, I didn't know how to use, like, any of them, 
But there was this one character who I was really good with. His name was like Bob. He was like the like the fat guy. Which I was weird that I was actually good as him. I didn't think I would be good with anyone really. But then like you know like I kept using this Bob guy, and then like every time I like played as him, I would I like somehow like found like some secret combo thing with him that I didn't know what I was really doing though. So, you know, I, I played that with him for a little bit, you know, and he... Did I hit him? Oh, man, I missed. So, yeah, I played that with him for a bit. You know, I don't, I don't really... Oh, great, I have to play as Thor, like, the slowest character ever. So, yeah, that was fun, though, I guess. You know, just playing as, like, a different fighting game. I actually heard that they're, they're making, like, a Street Fighter vs. X Tekken. So it's based... So, yeah, that, I mean, that might be cool, maybe. I don't know. Street... I mean, I, I never really... I don't have any Street Fighter games. Like, really, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 was, like, my first fighting game. I didn't have any PlayStation 2 fighting games or anything. But, you know... I still, I still like Marvel vs. Capcom 3. It's a great game. Oh man, I was about to do like a super combo thing and then he grabbed us. Thor. Come on, Thor, do something? No? I guess not. Said I wanna do a hyper combo. Thank you, Crimson Viper. Batteries on these are still good. Yeah, the batteries are still good. Okay, Dark Lord Dimension, whatever, Dormammu guy. Who does this Dormammu, he's evil, obviously, but who does he fight? Does he just, like, can, is he, like, can he fight, like, anyone from the Marvel Universe? Or I don't know. Um, I don't know. There's so many things I don't know. Goddamn Dormammu, I hate that. Because it doesn't work sometimes. Hardly even a ranged move. Oh no, not Wesker. He's good. I've seen like I've seen like a few like tournament videos of like Marvelous Capcom 3 where like people like hone as like Wesker and like and like Magneto. They also use like some teams use Phoenix, other teams don't. I don't know. I don't know, it's like, I'd, I'd be, like, destroyed in any form of tournament at this. So I'm just like, no. I can't even, like, beat the game on, it's hard enough for me to beat the game on normal, let alone hard or very hard. So, I mean, I would be, like, completely owned in a tournament of any kind. I could use, like, my best team and still be obliterated. Time to finish him. Oh, that's weird. Dormammu did, like, a different one. He used, like, this a fireball one instead of, um, his, like, flamethrower one. That's weird. Uh, Alright, one more battle, then. We fight this, uh, like this. I don't even know how many more of these there'll be until... You know, how many more of these episodes there'll be until Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, unless you guys want me to just, like, have fights with me using different people or whatever. You know, like... I'll do, like, whatever you guys want, you know. Give me a suggestion. Something other than Minecraft. I mean, it's not that I wouldn't record Minecraft, it's just that I don't have, like, 
Oh, good. I, I just don't have, um, what is it, fats? I know, like, I had, like, you know, Austin said, like, you know, Dominic's using, like, an illegal version of fats. But, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. It's, and, you know, and I would, you know, probably be in more of his videos and stuff. It's just that, like... With his with his servers, like he's he like never tells me whenever he's making a new server or anything. And by the time I get into his one of his new servers, it's like I'm just like so left down and left behind that I don't know like what I'm gonna do or whatever. It's like I never get to help build anything big or anything or anything. You know, I mean, I still like to play Minecraft. I had, like, with that new adventure patch, like, uh, I, I don't remember what these things are called, but they're, like, these, um, tall, black, spindly things with, like, white eyes. They can move blocks, and what they do is, um, what they can do is, like, when you put your little sensor thing on them, it's, like, it will, uh, they'll, like, they don't do anything to you normally, but, like, once you look at them, with, you know, you know, you always have the little indicator thing in the middle of your screen. Once that points to them, they'll stare at you, and they'll keep on staring at you until you look away from them, in which they'll, like, charge at you with immense speed. And then, like, you know, like, even though, like, you can be, like, still, like, you can, like, even have, like, special escape hatches and whatever, like, they'll, like, like teleport to you so that no matter what, they'll still get to you, and they'll do, like, a large amounts of damage. So, they seem like pretty scary things. Something that they remind me of is that, um... I don't know, it's... I don't know if it was from, like, Doctor Who or something. It's like, there are these, like, angel alien monster things that, like... It's like... What they do is, like, you know... I think it's, like, what they do is, like... You know, you see them, they're just, like, crying and stuff, but then, like, if you blink or you look away from them is when they'll attack. It's like, so, like, say, like, you're in a dark, like, you're, like, say, like, you're in a cellar and there's, like, a blinking light bulb. Every time it goes dark, they'll come closer and closer because they move at, like, incredible speed. So, it kind of, it's kind of like those guys, but it's, it's what it reminds me of, at least. Street fighter. Zombie Murderer 16. Oh, that was pretty successful. No, oh, I thought I could taunt during this part. That'd be that'd be funny. Destroy the earth, not you. Mwahaha. Yep, 
Yeah, so he's like, oh, there's more than one world, it's just need to know where to look. Then he gets a whole bunch of other evil people, what is that? Lord Raptor. Okay, I, see, I know that there's Wesker and Akuma. The, the top guy's the little evil devil g demon guy from, like, the whatever the Arthur game is. He's gonna be in the next, um... He's gonna be in Ultima of this character, I think. The bottom guy, I have no idea who the hell he is. Is he Lord Raptor? Or I, I don't know. I really don't, I have no idea. I don't know, he had weird spiky hair, I don't know. But that concludes another episode of Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Hope you enjoyed. This is Mungo Comics, and I will see you guys next time.